Purple Rain by Prince. You know, what can you say? Another shocking turn of events here. Um, with Prince passing away yesterday, actually. Really, really shocking, I think, for everybody. Um, anyways, I want to get right into this. This is a fantastic song, a really, really soulful song. Maybe his most soulful song, in my opinion, it is. And I've always really loved this song. It's been on my list for a long time, but um, I guess now's the time to do it. Um, anyways, uh, there's a couple of interesting things about this song, and one of them is that it was recorded during a live performance uh, in 1983 in Minneapolis, and it was recorded, that night was recorded, and it was the debut of Wendy Melvoin, the guitarist for Prince, right? She's the one who plays this intro, and uh, she was only 19 years old, which is kind of cool. And they used the basic tracks from that recording to make the record that we all listen to today, which is also kind of neat. Of course, they did a lot of overdubs, clean stuff up, chain things around a bit, but the basic tracks are there. Another cool thing about it is when it was finished, Prince phoned Jonathan Kane, who's the keyboard player from Journey, who does a lot of the writing. He did a lot of the writing back in the day. Because he thought the song was really similar, or maybe too similar, to Faithfully. And you can really hear it in the chorus. Like in Faithfully, the chorus is... Um, Forever yours faithfully. Right? So it's the same four chords. But... Um, Jonathan Cain said that. It was just, you know, the same four chords, but the song was so different that it wouldn't be a problem. You know, until I read this, I'm just looking this up on Wikipedia. I'd never actually thought of that before, but yeah, the same four chords as Faithfully, the chorus. Anyways, let's get on with it. It's in the key of B flat, which already is kind of strange for a rock song, right? And uh, I see guys playing this a lot of weird ways. But it's not as hard as, as it might sound. So let's go over the chords first of all. The first chord is going to be like this. It's open D, G3, and bar on B1 and E1. And what that is, is it's a B flat 9. You got that C in there, which is like the ninth. So it's like that. And that's where I think a lot of guys get that feeling from. Because you're getting that ninth, but what you're missing in that is the D, which is the third. And that's how you play it. You don't even need that B flat in there, okay? It's just the third in the bass. And if you watch that video that I talked about earlier, I'll, that's posted down in the uh, description box, you can watch Mindy, Wendy Melvoin play this, and you can clearly see what she's doing there, okay? So that's the first chord. The second chord, you're going to get that third finger, put it on E3, and put your little finger where your third finger was on uh, G3. And that's going to be a G minor, sus4, 7. G minor 7, sus4. For those that are interested. <laughs> and then um, we've got an F. And in the intro, one guitar plays an F, and one guitar plays an F9. There. Right. And then the next chord, because there's only four chords in the entire song, is this awesome chord. It's a beautiful chord. It's, it's, all it is is an E flat 9. But with this voicing. Which is just a beautiful voicing. Okay. The way we're going to do that is it's going to be A6. D8, uh, G10, B8, and E6. So we've got this, this, and this. Alright, so those are your four chords, and they just cycle, and they're in slightly different orders at certain times in the chorus and whatnot, right? Okay, so now let's go over the rhythm, the intro, which is such a iconic intro, right? As soon as you hear that first chord, you, it, you automatically know what the song is, which is kind of amazing, right? So we're going to do that. We're going to hit all four strings from the D string down. 
try and hit them all at once. Don't go, you know, just hit them all at once. And then we're going to go. And that's an upstroke on the E string, a downstroke on the G string. Right? Now, there's two guitars in this intro. I'm not going to show you each part because they're so similar but I'm going to combine them all into one part. So we've got... Right, pulling off there. So we hit that low G, and we're going to go... like G string, B string, G string, E string. And if you hit that open D, that's fine doesn't matter and then we'll follow that like with this so we've got and what that is is it's just a G string and an upstroke on the E and B back to the G string, and then open E and E1, the F note, right? Because we're in this formation. That whole thing so far would be... And now we're going to go... And here's where the two guitars are. Uh, one just plays a straight F, you know, backstroking from that G string. And the other guitar goes uh, playing that G9, so we're getting, or the F9, so we're getting that G note in there, right? to go and that's dun, dun, and that open G there right so we're gonna we're gonna thread like that lift our bar up right dun, dun. backstroke of the G string open now we'll open G and then a, a slash on the muted strings going to hit this E flat note and hold that while we try and get this crazy chord in place and we're going to hit that on the end of three so we're going to go one and two and three and finish it off with that leg. So we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and, right? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and then we're back to this, okay? And from here on in, it's more of a vamp. You, know? you can kind of do whatever you want. Uh, the first verse, when he starts singing, is very sparse, so it's like... And what we're going to do when we hit this chord here is we're going to hit both those notes, the E flat and the B flat. And while we're placing the rest of it, we're going to come in on the end of four. So it's one and two and three and four and one. The first time is on the and of three. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and. But the second time is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. 
and then you can throw that like in there too. And we ended up just on a B flat, right? And then we go into the chorus, and the chorus starts on this chord, C, E flat 9, purple rain, purple rain. Okay, and that's pretty well it. Um, and it just cycles over and over with guitar solos and all kinds of different things. And the only other part is that little lick that he does um, when he's doing that vocal line. The way we're going to do that is we're going to play that E flat, an E flat there, but we're going to do it here, which is D1, G3, and uh, B4. And we're going to go, the bass line is going to go, but we're going to hold those two notes the whole time. That's A3. And that's pretty well it. Great song. Always really loved this song. One of the, the Prince songs I will actually like listen to uh, quite often, you know, because it's just such a soulful song. Anyways, Prince will definitely be missed. Just a massive talent. Hope you get something out of this lesson. Hope you'll enjoy playing this song. And yeah, we'll talk to you next time.